Welcome back to Firestorm Games and another Games Workshop unboxing video. This time we'll be taking a look inside Zarbag's Gits expansion for Night Vault. And as usual, we'll be taking a look at the contents before assembling the miniatures themselves. So let's get started and take a look at the cards. First of all, we have the fighter cards, of which we have nine, one for each miniature in the warband. Each card is the usual arrangement. We have the artwork at the top, a photo of the miniature in the top left corner, followed by the abilities and stat lines in the bottom half of the card. This particular card is Zarbag, the leader of this warband, and is also a spellcaster, capitalizing on the new spell rules found inside the Night Vault core set. We have the stat line for his weapon and his movement, evasion and wounds listed at the bottom. He has a special ability called Scurry, which is shared across all the goblins in this warband and allows him to make a move action if any other goblin moves from an adjacent tile. On the reverse side, we have the inspired version of Zarbag, who remains largely unaltered but does gain any little extra movement. This pattern continues across the rest of the fighters, with the group being broken down into a fanatic armed with a giant ball and chain, a netter, three archers, an armoured squig herder, and finally two squigs. So with the fighter cards looked at, let's move on to the rest of the cards found in this box set. The remaining cards are broken down into 29 Zarbag Git specific cards and 31 universal cards that you can use in any of your Shadespire or Night Vault ward bands. We have the usual assortment of upgrades, ploys and objective cards with the addition of the relatively new spell cards. Now that we've looked at the cards, we can now move on to the miniatures themselves. As I've already mentioned, there are 9 miniatures in this set, 7 goblins and 2 squigs. All of these miniatures come in yellow plastic to help with identifying the warband on the tabletop without the need for painting. The miniatures are also all snap fit so can be built without the need for any glue, which combined with the coloured plastic makes them great for beginners or people who don't wish to paint or build the miniatures and just want to play the game. As the warband are night goblins, they are all sporting the typical black robes and heavily featured mushrooms in some form or another. However, despite these similarities, the miniatures themselves are incredibly characterful. Each has its own unique sculpt, and even the miniatures which are the same archetype, such as the archers and squigs, still bear some individualism. For example, one archer is sporting a mushroom as a hat, and is called Red Cap, and one squig is gnashing on a large bone. My personal favourites are Drizgit the Squig Herder, equipped with heavy armour and a cauldron of hot coals, perfect for dealing with unruly squigs, and also Snurk Snowatong, who is a night goblin fanatic. He sat atop his spiked ball, holding its chain in one hand, while swigging from a no doubt noxious concoction with the other. It's details like these which really help to separate the warbands from Shades by Night Vault from their more rank and file Age of Sigmar counterparts. So let's finish off assembling these miniatures and take a look at the completed warband. And here we have the fully assembled Zarbag's Gits. It's packed with some great looking miniatures which you can use in your games of Warhammer Underworld or Age of Sigmar. The coloured plastic and snap fit nature makes them great for getting on the gaming table in no time at all, but yet they still offer enough detail for painters. Now, if you're looking to pick up one of these warbands for yourself, the RRP is £17.50, but it's currently available on the Firestorm Games web store for 10% off that RRP, and you'll find a link to its page in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, do let us know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with all of our latest videos. So, we just want to say a big thank you for watching this video, and we hope to see you again on Firestorm Games.